I'm at the Malvin Spring Festival with the hills rolling behind me in a garden called The Retreat. Here we have a spa and here's some lounging areas and beautiful olive trees. I'm sitting in the sunken area of a garden. The idea of getting down you know, on the, on the um, cushions uh, as it were, you're close to water and you're seeing life at a different perspective and it's, oh. uh, it really is you know, intended to slow us down and yeah. um, you know, to just take it all in. Yeah. And when you're not meditating, you've got the walls here and you can sit on these. You can have a group of 10 of you in here for an evening and enjoy it as a, as a relaxing space. So, it's very nice, mm. very nicely designed. Well done. <laughs> we were trying to make a Russian meadow. It was rather oh. difficult because of course we do not have Russian plants here. Mm -hmm. So we took English plants, which is similar according to the way of flowering, to the leaves and structure and color. It's really comfortable here. It's come together well. I follow the waters and the wind still, since my heart heard it and all to pieces fell. There's two types of gardens at the Malvern Spring Festival, the show gardens and the spa gardens. This is called the ocean and I almost feel like I'm sailing away. If you were to take a, a, a bread knife through the Malvern Hills, uh, somewhere in the Malvern Hills there in that beautiful granite, you would find a heart producing all the colours and the beautiful uh, refreshing water that we have, that we drink and we buy. And this is the heart. I'm at the refuge garden. Let's go and have a chat with Sue. I've been very, very moved by the refugee crisis going on at present across the world, in, mm -hmm. and particularly in the Middle East and in Syria, and feel very strongly that Britain should be a, a place of sanctuary and refuge for families who are fleeing conflict. Everybody seems to have forgotten what the word refugee means, and it means finding a place of refuge. So I've built one set in the British countryside and it's a place where people can meet and make bread and drink and make friends and share stories and children can run around. Children don't know where their food comes from anymore. They don't know that a carrot grows in the ground or that bread is made out of flour that comes from wheat. Um, so we want to teach those children where their food comes from. Why is gardening so popular? Because you're being creative. You're bringing something into being. And, and if you let go of the idea that the most important thing is the return for the shareholders, you end up with a completely vibrant, vivacious rural community. It's kind of simple magic to get people in the soil. Renewing tradition is one of the things that, that interests us. Um, it's taking very ancient uh, orchard traditions uh, and bringing them into the 21st century and giving them a local lilt as well. Well, the Heritage Seed Library is unique in Britain because it is the one place which is the home for, at the moment, 750 registered varieties of ex-commercial heirloom and heritage uh, seeds, most of them from the UK.